Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain about the limitations of watch. In my previous video, I explained about vagueness and uncertainty, randomness, and ignorance. Now let's understand what is the limitations of watch, and let's start the video. Yeah. So, so the first limitation of this logic is inability to handle vagueness. So, what is this vagueness? Which I explained in my previous video only, which is a lack of statements or lack of defining the definition clearly as yes so no so if you will not define the concept clearly then it is considered as vagueness so i explained the example which is uh, age so the mid age the mid age like 22 like 50 to 60 age people are like mid age in one culture or in other culture they may consider by their health condition in other culture in other culture they may consider by seeing their skin yes so no so in the different cultures they will be considering the mid age uh, definition differently depending upon their cultures uh, thing so there is no like unique definitions to say like unique definition is not there for this uh, mid age middle age so it is not different clearly we have many definitions so in that we cannot uh, it is uh, like it is very difficult to choose one certain unique definition. So in the different cultures, they will be using different definitions. So this type of problem can be used as one limitation of the logic. So this inability, inability of this handle to handle this vagueness, this problem to handle this problem, which is inability. Yeah. So they are saying that only the logic struggles to deal with vagueness concept and or the statements that lack precise boundaries or the definition so to deal with this vagal concept so it is very difficult to handle the logic is very difficult to handle uh, this uh, vagal concept which is uh, lack of statement so we will not define the concept clearly so that it is very difficult for that logic to handle okay they are saying this example only which is mid age which i explained you yes or no so this is the best example for this vagueness to understand about this vagueness this middle age is very easy to understand okay next while physiologic provides some mechanisms to address vagueness so i will explain about this uh, physiologic in my next upcoming videos but as of now so this uh, physiologic will be providing some mechanisms. So in this physiologic, we have so many mechanisms which I will be explaining you. Don't worry about that. And to address this vagueness, we have uh, some mechanisms to handle in this uh, physiologic. Let's understand that thing. It may not fully capture. So yes, we have uh, this physiologic where we'll be having some mechanism to handle this vagueness, but it's not completely like it's not fully solve the problem or fully solve the solution so we have again if we have this physiologic also still we have some problem with uh, dealing with this uh, balance okay yes okay this is one limitation means like disadvantage of using this next next one is difficulty in representing the uncertainty i explained about this uncertainty also which is not the correct result uncertain result incomplete result like which is weather forecast which i explained you yes or no next so many real world scenarios involves incomplete or uncertain information leading to multiple possible interpretations or outcomes so we'll be having multiple outcomes so in that multiple outcomes we have to choose one suitable outcome so it is very difficult yes or no so we'll not have the certain results or certain information or correct knowledge so from that we'll be having multiple outcomes multiple um, results so it's very difficult to choose a appropriate thing yes or no so to handle this uncertainty we have probabilistic method probabilistic method to address this uncertainty we have probabilistic method so in this to handle this vagueness we have physiologic similarly to handle this uncertainty we have probabilistic method so to like what is the probability you know that so which probability is more we'll be taking that as a result so suppose we have some survey so in that in that five to like seven people said yes and three people said no 
So what the probability of that uh, ratio will be there? Yes, yes, yes or no? Why? Because most of the people are accepting the thing, accepting the statement, so that the result will be yes. But it may be no also. But most of the, most of the people said yes, so that the probability of the particular thing will be yes. So they will be considering the most of the thing which was considered. Yes or no? So that method will be there in this uncertainty because it will be having multiple outcomes. So that from multiple outcomes to choose a correct unique output it is very difficult. So that they will be using this probabilistic method to handle this uncertainty. Okay. Next, handling of non-monotonic reasoning so about this non-monotonic logic also i am going to explain in upcoming videos but as of now understand what is it is so logic traditionally relies on monotonic reasoning where adding new knowledge does not invalidate previously derived conclusions so what they are saying so by adding the new knowledge or by adding the new information to the existing which is already derived and have concluded with one thing so by adding this um, again new knowledge it will be valid or invalid so we have to what it will be there like so i'll be explaining you more clearly like if we have uh, one uh, theory like it was uh, derived and have concluded with one thing and we forget to add small information to that existing which was already concluded. So if we add again the new information, what will be the entire conclusion? It will be valid or invalid. So that they are saying. So basically by adding the new information to the concluded uh, information, we'll be having some like some uh, problem may arise. Pakka the problem will be arise. Why? Because already derived and had concluded with one information again if we want to add the again the new information to the existing information we have to change everything as soon even the conclusion also will be somewhat difficult to handle why because we are we have already concluded again if we want to add the new information it is very difficult as soon to handle with that that only they are saying here look at here so yeah it is it leads to very problem and which was previously drawn conclusion so it will lead to the problem with the which was previously have concluded so with that it will lead to so much problem so that already concluded so that so to rectify this we required add of modifications or extensions to accommodate changes in the knowledge so to accommodate like this changes if you want uh, to add any information to the already which was concluded Further, to rectify that problem, so we have to have this add of uh, modifications or some extension so that if we want to add any information later, we can add easily. So that we have to add this extensions over here. Next one is limited expressiveness. What is limited expressiveness? So we have some limitations in expressing certain types of the knowledge. So we have so many types of knowledge which I explain in my starting videos when I'm explaining about this uh, unit one in the unit two at that time i explained about some types of the knowledge so to handle this to express this types of uh, knowledge we have some limitations itself so what are that let's understand like uh, we have uh, procedural knowledge contextual information so procedural knowledge means where we'll be having some procedures so where we'll be writing in the form of a series of steps so the process will be writing in the form of some series of steps like a procedure or contextual information so we'll be writing the information in the form of a context so these type of uh, knowledge which we are expressing so we have some limitations to express this um, type of um, knowledge itself so, yeah and one more while predicate logic excels at the representing the declarative knowledge about the objects and their relationships so it may struggle to capture the complex procedural knowledge and the contextual dependencies to handle with this types of like procedural and the ex uh, contextual dependencies it is very hard to handle with this like when the complex uh, procedural knowledge and complex contextual uh, dependencies are there to handle this this uh, it is very difficult to handle about this like this types of uh, knowledge to handle about this types of knowledge it's very difficult to handle with it and 
but what is the solution for this representing the knowledge about the actions in, intentions emotions or the social interaction so we have to interact with them so that we can understand what they are want to express what they want to convey to us what they want to convey to us so to interact we have to interact with them so that we can understand what they want to say yes or no so without without um, like without com uh, like uh, how how to say like without uh, knowing about like without com like without communicating with others how we can know what they want to see yes or no so that social responsibility like social relation should be there with the others and emotions or it may be some actions so these things are required to interact with them so to express some statements okay now for more expressive beyond this logic to express the statements which they want to we have to have this actions intentions emotions and social interactions with them so that we can easily understand what they want to convey next limitation is difficulty in handling the context so logic typically treats knowledge as context independent which is context independent so the logic typically says like context is independent should not depend on anything actually the logic typically says like uh, the knowledge uh, like context is independent but however we can say like meaning and uh, the relevant information of the knowledge depends upon the context so the knowledge should be the relevant knowledge we have to take means the relevant information we have to take for the context so if you take the relevant information it's okay okay yes or no so if you have one context you have to take the relevant information we cannot take irrelevant information for the particular context of the, within the domain yes or no so that only they are saying so the context which we are taking should be relevant the information which we are taking for the particular uh, context within the domain it should be the relevant if not it will be difficulty to handle about the con context also now next one is scalability and uh, computational complexity what is the scalability and the computational complexity okay as knowledge bases grow in size and the complexity so the knowledge may grow due to the size or due to the complexity so the complexity of the particular uh, information may also grow logical reasoning processes may become computationally expensive computationally expensive and difficult to scale so if the if if it is expensive it will be difficult to sell as soon as it's interlinked if it is expensive then it is difficult to sell yes or no yeah the inference and the search algorithms used in the logical reasoning often suffer for, from this complexity from this complexity the inference and the search algorithms usually very like logical reasoning means to say simply we'll be using some algorithms or like inferences which in this logical reasoning so in this logical reasoning we'll be using some this uh, algorithms so we'll be using some algorithm we'll be using some algorithms in this logical reasoning so like what will happen means so it leads to some complexity exponentially it leads to some complexity so when we add this algorithms uh, into this uh, logical reasoning at some extent it needs some complexity they because day by day the size and the complexity also increases due to this exponentially the complexity also may increase so making them impractical for large scale knowledge representation tasks okay i think you understood what is this so day by day if we increase this so the complexity computational complexity also may increase yes or no so that one so that's it about this limitations of logic which is very simple so if you understand you can write by its your own in your own words you can write and that's it for this video in my next video i am going to explain about this spazy logic with which is very important and the spazy logic and uh, non monotonic logic so this both are very important so don't miss that videos so that's it for this video thanks for watching let's meet in next videos